my name is M and welcome back to my new video. I can't believe it, I'm actually making a new video cause like I've been out of YouTube for like the longest time. But anyway, today I'm touching on a topic that is highly requested by you guys. It has been frequently asked on my Instagram DM, so yeah, that's why I get this DM almost every single day. So I decided to just do a video on this and that is my hair removal procedure. Okay, so uh, one thing about me would be that I'm very, very, very blessed because I don't exactly have a lot of armpit hair. It's like countable, probably less than like 10 armpit hair every single time. And my armpit hair takes very long to grow out all the time. But you know, God is fair because I have an Amazon rainforest down below so um, it usually requires more effort for me to get rid of the hair underneath compared to my armpit and I feel it's quite important to get rid of like your JJ hair too because Singapore is so damn freaking hot right and you don't want to be sweating there or like have it be like dewy and rainy you know you get what I mean so some of the hair removal techniques that I have tried so far consist of probably the next five techniques that I'm gonna talk about it so I'm only gonna talk about these five techniques because I've tried them personally and this is how I truly feel about them so yeah Okay, so the first technique would be shaving and shaving is a no-brainer because I think all of you that's watching this video have shaved before somehow or rather because first it is idiot proof all you need to do is just to pick up a shaver from a drugstore like this packet six for two dollars that's damn freaking cheap and a packet of this shaver can last you for probably two months and second it is painless compared to a lot of hair removal techniques out there and third it's super duper duper fast so shaving is probably the first choice for most people but it isn't for me because i feel that first shaving encourages a lot of ingrowth hair i have no idea why second my hair grows out to be coarser than usual and third it is super super not long lasting because when you shave you're just removing the top layer hair which means that you're not removing the hair from its root okay so which means after you shave your hair will continue to grow so you will expect yourself to be hairless for probably max two to three days then your hair will start to appear again so i feel that shaving isn't exactly for me and also shaving causes itchiness when your hair starts to grow out yeah i mean i will still shave every now and then if like i I'm on a holiday and I really need to get rid of my hair and I want to look good in my bikini or like in my sleeveless top I will use a hotel shaver to shave it The second option would be plucking Okay, so plucking of hair is easy as well but of course it is a bit more painful but plucking of hair is definitely more long lasting It usually lasts about one week maximum well i'm speaking from my own experience lah okay and uh, i think plucking your hair is suitable if you are trying to pluck your upper lip for men uh, your eyebrow and like your armpit you know because you don't really have a lot of hair but girl if you want to use a tweezer to pluck your late hair or your vajayj hair i think that is gonna take like two years okay personally because plucking is not say it's painless right it has a little bit of painful aspect to it probably a four out of ten uh for my underarm but if you want to pluck your JJ, which is damn freaking sensitive okay it is a eight out of ten for me okay because the different part of your JJ is sensitive at different area but for me this is totally not the choice to like pluck your JJ hair okay so this is out for me but of course plucking is first environmental friendly Second, it is super cheap because all you need to do is just to purchase a tweezer and probably change your tweezer once a year or once every six months. And uh, the tweezer that I highly recommend is actually Tweezer Man. I got this from Sephora and I feel that out of all the tweezers that I've tried, this is actually the fastest. It, fastest in a sense, but I don't know what technique it uses, but it plucks out my armpit hair or like whatever hair, even my eyebrow hair, really, really quickly. So I really like this. Brand. So I recommend um, plucking your hair maybe only for minimal hair areas, not like you know, your rainforest bush. Yeah. So the third technique, which is also the technique that I 
personally have only tried one in my life and that is enough okay so that is waxing so i tried waxing when i was i think 17 years old because i bought like a voucher from online i decided to try it and girl that was like damn bloody painful so waxing is damn 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 painful for me because like i mentioned i'm doing it on my JJ. so Hmm, would I recommend it to you guys? I don't know because different people have different pain tolerance, right? But I think uh, the good thing about waxing will be first, it is pretty long lasting. It lasts around like three to four weeks before your hair really starts to grow out. Second, when your hair grows out, it is a lot finer compared to when you shave your hair. And the chances of you having ingrowth is not as common compared to plucking or shaving your hair so i think waxing is fine and also the thing about waxing which i don't really like as well would be that usually you have to wait for your hair to grow to a certain length probably like you know, like this length before you can wax out or else the wax is not gonna pick up your hair and i find it really really troublesome because then you would have to go through the stage of having like uh itchy baby hair growing out of like your sensitive areas so yeah i don't know and waxing is not very cheap to be honest like one waxing session costs around like 20 plus dollars for your underarms and for your JJ, it's around like 50 dollars which is not very cheap to me okay the next two techniques are actually uh under the laser hair removal category which i personally strongly recommend to you guys because first it is the most long lasting hair removal solution out of everything that i have tried second i feel that it is not that painful compared to like waxing or plucking and third i think that it is super super pocket friendly in a very very long run so the first one would be ipl so ipl is a laser hair removal technique and what it does would be that when you go for an ipl appointment they will apply a gel on your body first before they um, heat up the machine to zap your hair away so for IPL right every time they zap you it consists of around two to three laser shots to touch your inner root to kill the hair follicles so that this decreases the chances of your hair growing out but of course um, to some people it may be a permanent solution because probably their hair follicle doesn't uh, grow back so easily but for me i told you i have an amazing rainforest down there so you know it's not so easy to deforest okay so i've been to quite a lot of ipl appointments but my hair there still grows out probably after four to five weeks which is still a okay amount of time for me but it definitely didn't exactly get rid of my hair entirely and i also find ipl slightly painful because um, i mean after all it is laser and it will zap your skin so the gel is actually a cooling gel so this will actually offset the heat that comes up from the laser machine but overall in the long run it's quite cheap there are many many places that offer different kind of packages from like focused packages which means that they will tell you oh underarm hair removal ipl 10 sessions one thousand dollars example okay so which means that no matter how much hair you have over here they will try to zap away all the hair but then there are other packages whereby they go by the amount of shots so probably one shot cost 50 cents okay 10 shot cost five dollars example so if you are someone that has lesser hair like on your underarm for example that would be more worth it for you because probably you only need to spend like fifteen dollars that session you know compared to like your one thousand dollar package for someone that is extremely bushy and i call a very bushy person the kong bush man <laughs> i'm pretty sure you guys learned all that term in secondary school lah, but yeah okay so i feel like it's pretty okay for me so the last last technique and also the technique which i highly 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 requested and also the technique that i'm using for the past one and a half years that is the super hair removal technique so super hair removal is actually a more advanced technology of the ipl because ipl like i mentioned each time it zaps you it's around two to three shots however for super hair removal each time they zap you it's around 20 to 25 shots which is probably 10 times more than IPL that's why it's called super hair removal okay but I feel like after going for IPL and then going for SHR SHR is a lot more effective and it is not messy compared to IPL because the machine itself already comes with a protective layer on the outside 
So the protective layer is actually this icy glass. So what it does will be it actually offset the heat from the super hair removal machine. So the pain level is probably a 0 0.5 or 0.10 for like your upper lip and your underarm. But for your vajayjay area, like what I mentioned, it's very sensitive. So it probably could be a 3 out of 10. But out of all the techniques that I've tried, I feel that super hair removal is actually the least painful and also the most pocket friendly for me because I actually found a salon that offers it at a pretty affordable price compared to many of the places that I went I mean you guys know me I'm super super budgety I try my best to like milk every single cent that I have so uh, before I actually went to this clinic I was with other clinics for super hair removal as well but then I came across this clinic I worked with them before and I feel that they offer the same kind of service super hair removal at a much affordable price that's why i decided to work with them for a very very long time i really recommend this super hair removal place so some of the commonly asked question would be is this a permanent solution it depends on individual like for my friend after she gone for like five sessions the hair on her JJ really never grow out only after like six to eight weeks which is like very good lah because even now after like my 12 session i still have a bit of hair going out on my JJ. although probably three quarters of it is totally gone and it only starts to grow after like eight weeks so what i usually do would be i'll go back every month for maintenance and the logic behind it being permanent or not actually really depends on your body system for me it is the most permanent method but not permanent does that make sense but i know you guys get what i mean okay so second why is it pocket friendly because the place that i go if you were to do like a full brazilian 10 session is only 600 plus dollars so if you were to break it down one full brazilian session is only probably max 70 bucks and 70 bucks is maybe only like 20 dollars more expensive than a brazilian waxing session and this it's a more permanent solution compared to waxing because if you were to do it in the long run the chances of your hair follicle growing out is actually lesser but waxing doesn't doesn't kill your hair follicle at all and compared to IPL because like I mentioned IPL is only too short right per set oops did I just burp <laughs> okay so like what I mentioned like for IPL because it only contains uh, two shots per zap so the chances of your hair being hairless permanently is definitely lower compared to a SHR I guess I'm not being biased here but this is just my two cents worth and for me I feel that if you guys are looking for a place to remove your hair which in my opinion is very important especially if you are attached because I'm sure you don't want your boyfriend to be eating a rambutan when he could be having a honeydew okay TMI but this is like girl to girl talk so I'm telling you guys the truth so I believe that getting rid of hair is actually very important I mean it does boost your self esteem as well when you feel that your hair is silky smooth instead of like rough and like constantly sweating a bit moist and damp right so yeah so yes I hope I've answered all of your question regarding my hair removal technique so if you guys have had any bad waxing experience or hair removing experience please leave a comment down below so that i won't feel so alone when i went for my horrible wax when i was 17 all the information will be down in the description box and i'll leave some link of the places that i've been before and like some of the most affordable waxing ipl and shr packages after doing all my comparisons so you guys can have a rough gauge on what you want to choose okay so that's it uh don't forget to like this video subscribe to the fatful family and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys